Hello my dear brothers, and my dear sisters, may God bless you all. Psalm 116 is a prayer of deep gratitude and praise to God, expressing the sentiments of a heart that recognizes divine help in times of anguish and affliction. This psalm, filled with words of affection and recognition, reveals the intimate connection between the believer and the Creator. With a rich poetic expression, Psalm 116 is an invitation to reflect on God's mercy and faithfulness, in addition to serving as a follower of the importance of trusting in the Lord in all circumstances of life. Let's pray Psalm 116 and then our Father Amen. I love the Lord because He hears my voice and my prayers. Because He inclined His ear to me, I will invoke Him as long as I live. Cordage of death surrounded me. An anguish of hell seized me. I found tightness and sadness. Then I called on the name of the Lord, saying, Deliver me, Lord, from my distress. The Lord is merciful and just. Our God is full of compassion. The Lord keeps the simple. I was troubled, but He saved me. Return, my soul, to your rest. For the Lord has been good to you. Because you have delivered my soul from death. My eyes from tears and my feet from stumbling. I will walk before the face of the Lord. In the land of the living. I believed, therefore I spoke. I was very distressed. I said in my haste. All men are liars. What shall I give the Lord? For all the benefits He has done me. I will take the cup of salvation. And I will call on the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord. Now in the presence of all His people. Precious is in the sight of the Lord. The death of His saints. Lord, indeed I am your servant. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You loosened my bandages. I will offer you sacrifices of praise. And I will call on the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord. In the presence of all His people. In the courts of the house of the Lord. In the midst of you, O Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. Beloved Lord, my God and my Father. At this time I enter once more into your holy presence to lift up my prayers in humility and fervor. Heavenly Father, I cry out to you with a heart full of hope and trust, asking you to extend your protective hands over your children and keep them from the snares of the enemy. To you, Lord, I cry out for indulgence and forgiveness for the sins that, as fallible beings, we commit. We recognize our smallness before your greatness, our weaknesses before your strength, but we also recognize that you are great and wonderful, Lord Jesus. With a heavy heart, I ask you to extend your help to those in need, those who face difficulties and find themselves in trouble. Blessed Father, open people's hearts to be instruments of your provision, so that those who have means can share them with those in need, so that there are no brothers on the street with money to collect, but that compassion reigns and the doors open. Open to ease the burden of these thy children. Lord, we see the struggle, challenges, and heartaches that surround us. We recognize that life often brings difficulties and that problems can feel overwhelming. At that moment, I ask that your hands extend over each situation, over each challenge. Open employment doors, Lord, allow opportunities to flourish even in the most adverse circumstances. Take away the anguish and bring relief, and where there are debts, Lord, bring the solution, the provision that only you can give. In this act of prayer, I also ask for healing. Heal the wounds, heal the infirmities of the body, mind and spirit. I remember the words of Psalm 91, where you promised to deliver us from all distress. I trust in your healing power, of transformation. May illnesses dissipate, depression be driven away, and families find solace and renewal in your grace. 
Lord, I know that emotional emptiness can be profound. I ask you to be close to those who feel lonely, broken and sad. Place people of God in their lives, men and women who can be instruments of your presence, who can bring love, friendship and comfort. Bless, Lord, everyone's spiritual life, may it be strengthened, enriched and may every step taken towards you be full of meaning. Look, Father, at your children's finances. Bring relief from the financial burdens that weigh on them. It opens the door to prosperity, not only so that you can provide for your own needs, but also so that you can be a blessing to others. May your children experience your bounty and live lives of abundance in every way. I thank you, Lord, that you hear these words, that you consider the requests of your children. With gratitude in my heart, in the name of Jesus, I express my trust in your goodness and mercy. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, blessed is your name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts. As we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For thy kingdom and power. Honor and glory today, tomorrow, and forevermore. Amen. Glory to God. I hope Psalm 116 has touched your hearts as it has mine. What a beautiful expression of gratitude and praise to God we find in this passage. The profound message of trust and recognition reminds us of the importance of remaining faithful on our spiritual journey. If you were also inspired by these words, I invite you all to subscribe to our channel and leave your like. Share these powerful messages so we can preserve the love and wisdom contained in God's Word. May the Lord bless us all and guide us always toward His light. Amen.